Hi and welcome to another 5 minute session and this time I will show you how you can use vertex groups to change the appearance of the material inside the same object. So let's go right into it and here I have a bowl that I did of a UV sphere that I then added some solidify that I applied on and then some subdivision and then I had this amazing bowl right now we just have the normal material with principle and nothing more and i would like this to be a red so i just changed the base color to red and take away the green and blue and now i have it red could be that i would like have some shine on top of it and then i can use the coat here and uh, that would be like a layer above so it's really shiny and looks nice could be that i have a little more roughness into it as well so this is my amazing bowl and it's red and it's nice but I would like the inside to be something else. So I can name this to outside like this and then the inside should be different. So then I go to the solid view, solid view here and then tab and I can go to my modifier and just unclick so I don't see uh, modifier when I work here and if I now select everything on the inside which I've done now here and uh, nothing is selected on the outside I can then go to the data objects here and here you can see it says vertex groups so if I just add a vertex group by pressing the plus sign and then I can say that this is the inside and assign it's really important if you don't assign nothing happens so then I assign and it will take everything that is selected and give that to the name inside here of those vertex groups so then I can easily find it in my material and add it to that so I press and shift A and then go to input and use the attribute here which we have used in another way before we can then write inside here as a name so just write inside and if i now take that to color to the base color here and go to rendered view you can see that it's now black on outside and it's white on inside because inside was all those vertices or faces that we selected here uh, we named that group inside so if we select inside all of that will be white or if using factor true which also means white on the inside and black on the outside so that means that now we can just add an inside and an outside into this by using a color mix so shift a go to color and there we have the mix color and put this factor into the factor of the mix color and put uh, that red into the b here uh, or to the a because the outside should be black so it will be at the top here that should have red so then I just go to this and say that it should be red here and if I put it in you can see that we have red on the outside and we have white on the inside I can also turn on my subdivision now so it looks nicer and then it's just to fill out something nice in the inside so we can just build some gradient or something so i press shift a go to input texture coordinate use the generated and then separate that so shift a converter separate xyz uh, take that to the generated and then we can use the z to control the b here and then you can see we get darker in the bottom and the brighter up here and it would be nice to have a color so we add a color ramp so shift a and then convert to a color ramp and it could be so that it ends in the same color so we just use this one click here and select the red one and then we can change this to some white or we can go for yellow like that and now we have another inside using the vertex group but you can build as many vertex groups as you want to so you have some parts that is uh, blue and some other yellow or whatever that's up to you you only have to write the name of each of the attributes and then you get one for those vertex groups that you have selected so 
That is how you can use those groups to create different appearances in your model. So hopefully you learned something today as well. And as usual, I will see you tomorrow and I say bye for now.